Hi there and thanks for watching. In this video we'll cover creating your positive pay transmission files for current activity, creating a file for your outstanding checklist, and common and advanced tasks. If you're watching this video we assume you've completed the steps in video 1 and have created a new account in Bank Positive Pay, configured your positive pay file for your bank, and integrated Bank Positive Pay with QuickBooks. I'll select the QuickBooks Software Integration window and view Transactions. The checks that need to be sent to the bank will be displayed. Note the totals at the bottom of the screen. As a best practice, always confirm your totals and the number of records. To create the Positive Pay file, I select Send Transactions to Bank Positive Pay, and I'll be prompted to view the file. The name and location of the Positive Pay transmission file appears on the prompt. This is the file to be transmitted to the bank. Although your path and file name may be different, your transmission file can always be found in this location. Let's take a look at the file. Keep in mind the sample file format you see here may look different from your bank's format. You can now upload this file to your bank or use our built-in tools to send it. Please note, your bank determines the transmission methods you can use. Let's return to our QuickBooks integration window. Now when I select View Transactions, the transactions we just processed aren't displayed. This helps minimize duplicate transactions. If you need to view previously transmitted transactions, uncheck Hide Transactions Already Processed, and the previously transmitted transactions will be displayed. Please note the advanced record controls. With these controls, you can select records to Do Not Send Temporary, do not send permanent, and send override. Your transactions can also be viewed in greater detail from within our reports. Bank Positive Pay, like all Treasury software programs, creates an audit trail for each record. Let's view a detailed import log by going to the Reports tab and selecting Import Logs. Notice the file we just imported is at the top. To view the records, highlight the row and then select Record Detail. Our software also features Excel-style filtering which lets you easily select records and export the report to Excel. If you've made a mistake and need to re-import from QuickBooks, don't worry. Go to the Home tab and select Delete Import. Highlight the import and select the Delete icon. You can now re-import your transactions. When you start Positive Pay Service, in addition to sending your current issued checklist to the bank, you'll also want to send the most recent outstanding checklist to help minimize exceptions. If you keep your outstanding checklist in Excel, you can import it through the Import Check Register Wizard and create a file. Don't have an outstanding checklist? Not a problem. Instead, a common practice is to send the past 30 days of issued checks. You can then return to the QuickBooks integration window and select a date range for that period and create a file. Want to change the name or location of your Positive Pay file once it's created? Go to the Create File page and select Change File Name Location. Back up your settings and data by going to File, Backup. If you're using your desktop platform, don't forget to set your backup directory to a network drive if available. If you're on one of our SQL platforms, you can also use our backup utilities, but we recommend first consulting with your IT department. To learn more about Treasury software and our other Treasury management products, please visit our website at www.treasurysoftware.com.